सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ डायनेमिक एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग सिनेमा 4D R25 बट गाइस यू कैन यूज एनी सिनेमा 4D वर्जन So first of all guys I'm going to take a torus this one Guys I change torus radius and segments so go to ring radius I like 150 150 cm guys segments little bit increase I like 40 yeah pipe radius is good so guys little bit decrease segments like 12 is good so now I go to display select god shading lines yeah see guys that's my simple torus low poly torus okay next one so go to on here and i take cube okay so guys i change cube size so size i like 20 20 and 20 yeah and go to fill it check guys closer radius i like 0.5 yeah and subdivision i like 5 yeah simple right Okay so guys now select this torus and rotate rotate like 90 degree 90 so go to here object cut and take 90 yeah okay so guys next one i take clone so guys select this cube and make child with clone yeah so i select this clone object and change mode to use object So guys torus drag and drop on object yeah see guys right that's my simple okay so next one guys i go to on here so subdivision to use vertex this one yeah it's good right see so guys now i apply material so go to load material guys i already create materials So that's my material file. Yeah. Guys, you can download this material file from my website free. So apply this one material on cube. So next one, guys, I create one more cube. So guys, select your cube, this one, this one and duplicate. Press control C and V. Select your cube and guys, I change radius. Guys, take 10 full and 10. Yeah. So guys, select this cube. and connect with here see guys that's my second one that's my first cube and second one that's my sphere so guys apply this gold material on sphere like this and rename like sphere yeah right simple guys right okay so guys hide this torus and hide on render yeah like this okay so guys next one cylinder Guys, go to clone now, and guys, see that's my clone, and change to band. That's important part. I change band. Yeah, that's my shape, right? Okay, so now I apply this time plane effector. Yeah, and go to parameter. Guys, go to position uncheck, and field use spherical field. like this yeah and guys select your spherical field and go to cut and change position guys position like this like 150 yes right okay so guys now i create rotation animation so i take null object and select this with select this plane and make child with null yeah guys select your null object and change guys this one yeah that's my animation okay so guys select your clone yeah it's my plane and go to back and play okay so guys that's not animate so go to plane and guys go to parameter scale size check yeah guys ununiform check okay and guys scale i like 1.2 yeah right 
okay so guys go to down and modify clone increase like 100 percent yeah much better right okay so guys go to back and play yeah that's not animate so guys select your null object chord and guys go to here yeah okay so guys take zero frame and now i increase this one frame i like 400 so our rotation check and guys last one go to 400 and our rotation i like 1080 yeah and go to back and play and press this animation key so go to back and play yeah see guys that's my animation right okay so now guys little bit increase this position also go to plane parameter and position check yeah really good see and go to back and play yeah this is also good see guys that's my animation right it's really good okay so guys my animation is really good now next one i apply rigid body tag on cloner so right click guys rigid body tag actually simulation and rigid body yeah and go to force this one and follow position i like two yeah and go to back and play okay so guys now i change gravity so go to mode and project and dynamic guys gravity i like half like 500 yeah 500 centimeter and go to back and play guys little bit increase more force like five is good so go to back and play yeah much better really good see guys that's my really good animation right see okay so guys that's it my first animation is finished now second one i create particle animation so stop this animation stop next one guys i apply c4d studio light go to merge and light and open and close yeah guys select your flow and background and go to down like this yeah and I set your camera angle I take camera camera check guys go to here and P position change yeah good okay so guys also rotation change yeah so go to back and play yes that's my first particle animation and now guys I create second effect so stop this animation and guys select your cloner this one and duplicate press ctrl c and v yeah and go to cloner one i select and go to effector guys plane press delete key yeah and now guys i take object so take anyone like spare and guys radius are like two is good so guys select your cloner object so guys see that's my object to change Torus, so change spherical field, yeah. And guys, I show you my animation like this. I select your cloner and also change distribution. I use this one volume and volume, guys, go to zero frame and press this animation key and go to last one 400 and count. I like 1000, yeah, and press this animation key, yeah. So go to back and play yes it's really good see guys that's my really cool effects yeah really beautiful guys right it's really good okay so now i stop this animation this time select this force that's my rigid body tag and force i like zero yes and go to back and play yeah it's really good see guys that's my animation second one particle animation and go to back and play like this right okay so guys now next one go to flow and right click and apply collider body tag 
so go to back and again play yeah yeah see guys that's really good and hide lines it's really good right see okay so guys that's my second particle animation and now guys stop this animation and clone on check and go to camera guys go to back and play yeah really good see guys that's my first particle and that's my second particle animation okay so guys camera angle little bit back so chord like one two double zero minus yeah it's good and little bit change y position like minus 20 more minus 50 is also good guys take more minus 80 yeah really good see guys that's my final effect right okay so guys next one i apply sdri image so go to sky and guys see that's my sdri material this one guys you can download this material from my website free so sky check and right click on sky go to here rendering tag and compositing and seen by camera uncheck yeah that's it guys right see that's my beautiful animation right okay so guys my animation is finished and use global animation indirectly catch it take low and t select best and guys max level i like two for fast rendering so i take jpeg sequences so go to desktop and create new folder so go to create new folder like this and take any file name and save guys go to output to change all all frame yeah so go to back and play yeah okay so guys that's it my final effect is finished and click on here rendering so press ok so guys that's it my final effect is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you